I'm Adrian Ancliffe. I'm Head of Production, Logistics and Scheduling at Valent in Belper. I've known about ASAFE for a long time, um, just from products that we've seen around um, different facilities. Uh, trade shows as well, conversations we picked up talking to ASAFE by going to different events. Always sort of saw their product as top of the range really, to be fair. ASAFE were looking for test customers for the Rakai product, so we just jumped at the chance and we've seen a 75% reduction in impacts across the legs that we've been trialling it. So one thing that Rakai has really done is hone in people's awareness of their driving, let's say, standards. But also looking at the area itself, is that a problematic area? Is the data we're getting from Rakai, because we get the really good data from the, from the KPI reporting, we get regular alerts through the SMS messages. We're always doing spot checks on the racking. Um, if problematic areas arise, we're doing things about it. So we're talking to the guys and asking for ideas on why certain areas are causing us a problem or having more alerts than others. And sometimes it's just sometimes about layout, so looking at how things are laid out, positions of uh, racks and, and locations, space availability. Other times it's been about uh, the rack itself being damaged, be that the meshing, be that leg itself prior to the rack eye going in. Um, so again, we've, we've actioned that and that's had a massive impact. But I think more importantly, I think it's all about the, the way the lads have accepted it, the way the team have accepted it. It's very interesting now when you walk in in the morning if an alert has gone off, the team are now coming in and saying, have you had a rack eye alert because it was me. So ownership wise, they took real ownership of it. They always say data is valuable. I think the rack eyes really proved that data can be ultimately valuable to improve the safety on your site. So we can only say positive things about the benefits that it's had really. I'm an integral part of the health and safety team. So we have plants all around the world and uh, we all feed in uh, to the other plants and in October of this year we'll be holding a two-day conference here at Belper where my colleagues in the same sort of role will be coming and we'll be showcasing uh, our latest innovation for which ASAFE is a fundamental uh, partner of ours. We had a, a visit up to their manufacturing site up near Leeds when we were there we saw different innovations and ideas that they were coming forward, the new products that they were looking to uh, put out to, to different businesses. So we took the opportunity when we saw Rakai to trial it here. They've put it in, in our main warehouse and now we're looking at having it installed in our spares warehouse. And when the group come for the conference in October, we'll be sharing that with them with a view to uh, spreading it worldwide. I feel that Rakai has really changed the way we deal with damages on, on legs. With the installation of Rakai, now we get, if we have an impact, and we just can get the phone, we scan the leg, we report any damage on the leg so we can get it repaired instantly. The inspection's really easy. Uh, we get the app, we get the um, barcode, it tells us where to go to. We know obviously every leg fixed barcode on it. So we go up to that, we scan the 2D barcode, we put in if any damage, we take any photos of that. The maintenance of the racking is far easier now than it ever used to be. We've used the, the events and the triggers and the data we get from Rakai to generate our own let's say heat map of the areas in question. So going from a pretty much a sea of red, which was not down to bad driving, raised other issues about sort of space, what's in that area, the traffic that's going through that area. Really looked at our warehouse design and racking design, as well as driver behavior and driver training. To where we are now, where we're down significantly in terms of reduction, in terms of our problematic areas. What we also use, so from the self-generation of a heat map, to the actual information we get from the Rakai system. So it really communicates well to the lads the downward trend that we're experiencing, but also getting them to look at the specific areas where we are generating most of those impacts. I think we, we've come a long way in a short time in terms of the safety, and ASAFE's really only added to that to help us do that.